Right, um, David and I are going to be presenting on behalf of Group Moscow, which has the smart post of Nikkei. So the original brief. You're a little old lady, you're walking through the Fitzwilliam Museum, you see a painting you quite like, a little bit out of your price range for your pension, so you take a snap with your camera phone and you send it straight to us. Oscar gets your image, we process it by magic, and you hopefully get back a poster, which is similar to what you're <laughs> doing. <laughs> okay, that doesn't work. Sorry, Helen. Um, old ladies go to, go to the museum, young kids use camera phones, neither ever meet each other. We, we don't think the demographics are right for this project. Um, we think that galleries will already have a shop that sells the prints uh, in the first place, and they don't want a third party coming in and ruining their business. I've never been to a gallery where you can take a picture either, so we think the project in general needed a rework. We took that to our client, and he said, fine, but do three things. Make some money for Kodak. <laughs> <laughs> that was the big one. Have a feasible real-world usage, which, I was as I was explaining, the original brief didn't. And use the same underlying technology, which you can read as, we don't have enough time to change it. <laughs> so, advertising. Exactly the same, take away the old lady, take away the gallery, take away the paintings, and bring in a kid in the street to take a picture of advertising. Advertisers pay us to, to make their billboards and posters enabled with the Oscar service. So when this logo appears on any advertising, you can take it, and you receive customised information back from the campaign to your phone. You can have a text message, an image, a video, a link, a voucher, whatever. So, how does the algorithm work? We came up with two original ideas. One was based on what the brief uh, suggested, and that was to cut up the image into cells, calculate the mean and variance of the color within each of those cells, and compare the incoming data to the data stored in our database. Second method was cut each image into four, create a color histogram for each quadrant, and do the same, compare the incoming data. Those two methods are great. Um, they're totally, they're not invariant to light, or rotation, or blur, or scale, or translation. So if you've ever seen a camera phone picture, you'll know they don't work at all. <laughs> so we had to come up with idea three, when I say come up. Um, SIFT is sort of the industry standard for image recognition that was developed in 99 by David Lowe at the University of British Columbia. And it's pretty complicated. It took us t uh, lots of lines of code to write. And we're going to explain it in 30 seconds. OK, basically. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, oh. sorry, sorry, sorry. Right. Imagine a scenario. <laughs> A world-renowned computer scientist walks past you, in fact your favourite computer scientist, <laughs> and you read all their research papers, except you haven't got the latest one. So, you call on them, take a picture on your mobile phone, and Oscar will save the day by sending you the abstract from the latest one. I'll just take one moment there. <laughs> <coughs> You take it, you send it, we get it, and then we find the edges. We, with a pure uh, convolution, okay, so we find the edges, we raise the contrast, then we ray trace the edges, we apply a uh, uh, linear regression, we find the corners from this, go on another step, and we lake those up, and then finally we find the image. Okay, so we've extracted the image. <laughs> In all this exercise, wait for it, wait. We find it. We blur it, we scale it, and then we find the differences to find uh, change in the image across many different frequencies and many different scales. For each of these, we have to find the local maxima and minima, we have to not find the corners, then we analyse to find the orientation from the derivatives. We do this for the neighbours, then we create a descriptor that has 128 points. We can compare this, we have millions of these per image. We convert it to a database with a sort of vague linear distance, and that's pretty much it. Thank you. <laughs> some sort of real world application, we emailed WPP, who are the second largest advertising company in the world, and they said they were interested to have a meeting in order to integrate this into some of the advertising. Thank you.